Welcome to another edition of Crossing the Middle Ministry. Okay, I want to talk about the King James Bible today, which is the original text written 400, a little over 400 years ago now. Um, this is not a book that was written by King James, but it was a actually a book that was copied by the scribes of King James. King James set um, I believe it was, um, I really don't want to say a number, but I'm thinking it was 40 uh, men, different scribes. They worked uh, two by two uh, interpreting uh, different scriptures um, from the original text of Greek, Hebrew, and Latin. And uh, King James, uh, some people were said that it was tyrant, that he was a bad person, and to be king in those days, man, you gotta had, you had to have some kind of power behind you, you had to have some kind of a, um, a force, and he had armies, and there was a lot of people, of course, that did hate King James, and you're gonna find that, you know, no matter what president that we get, there's gonna be a lot of people that hate him, um, so you're gonna hear some negative things about, no matter who it is, you, if you made a mark in history, you're going to leave some bad feelings somewhere. Um, you know, just like on YouTube. If you talk about the Bible, you talk about creationism, uh, you talk about evolution, you know, somebody's going to come back with some kind of smart remark. Well, uh, King James, and there's a format here of King James in, in my Bible, and uh, where it talks about um, the letter written to King James. Um, or about King James rather but you know the thing I want to talk about is uh, is how that he made this in the <laughs> excuse me that's the first time I ever sneezed on camera but it, it says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and when King James wrote that you know when he decided to put this into English, uh, it took a step forward. And you, you take a step forward, man, and the devil's fighting against you. I don't care what you have going. Um, the devil comes out in force. And the Bible tells us that he's organized. And um, he knows how to get things done in the natural world. And, uh, to defeat this well you got to step into the supernatural well that's what this book is all about this book is a supernatural it's a supernatural um, documentation it's the only one that I know of in existence that is that is really put together by the Holy Ghost and King James being moved by the Lord just like everybody else in here that, that <clears throat> wrote this Bible down and put it into words was moved by the Spirit of God they put this book into a computer one time and asked it, the computer how many men wrote this book and you know this was secular people that done it and um, you could probably go online and do all the research about it just google it whatever you know and uh this, anyways, it came back and said one man, one man put the whole thing together, because it's all about one subject. It all has a foundation of love. It all has a foundation of helping another person. It's not all about, it's not all about the author, but it's about the, it's all about the author and the people that's trying to help. And <clears throat> it all points to one thing. It all points to one thing. That is the living word of God, who Jesus Christ is. Now, there's been a lot of of um, controversy about is this for us today? It's been reinterpreted so many times. Blah blah blah. Down down the line, talks about all that kind of stuff. But now, listen. Now, the God that made heaven and earth, and He tweaked it. Look at what He has made. Look at the grass. Look at look at the flower. This, just this one flower that God put together. Okay? 
A lot of people believe that God can do things like this, but He can't preserve His Word. You know, God took a, a an amoeba. You know what an amoeba is? It's a one-celled creature. has a heart, and the heart beats. God put a heart in an amoeba, and He made it beat. And He, he set the sun in its place and made it shine. A, a continuous shine, uh, you know. It, uh, the way the sun shines, it's estimated to go on for eternity, according to some people's estimation. Scientists say it's going to burn out in so many billions of years, but the way that I see it, you know, it should have, according to their estimation, it should have burned out a long time ago, you know. There's only so much fuel that can be burned on the planet, and, and so this is what I'm saying the God that created it all. The God that created it all and made it all is able to preserve it all. And he made his word. He set forth the most precious thing that he has is his word. And there's people saying that he can't preserve his word. If he can do all of that, that we have said that he surely can preserve a few words on a page. Wouldn't you think? That, uh, you know, we're able to do that with our books. And yet we're accusing God who's supposed to be able to do anything. Nothing is impossible to God. But yet we accuse him of not being able to preserve the most precious thing to him, which is his word. Uh, which is his own word. And uh, by his own word, everything is. By God's word, everything is. Amen. Alrighty, I thank you for joining me today. Um, another edition of Crossing the Middle Ministry. And so come back tomorrow when uh, we will have another great subject right here for you today. God bless.